Hello, I'm Arnold Roos from Marksware. Today I will show you FlightCheck and how it works in an ESCO switch uh, environment. Um, we lately have been doing a lot of presentations locally with our distributors and other vendors uh, to make sure that we get some one-on-one -on -one time with our actual customers instead of going to big shows where everybody grabs a flyer and you don't get to speak to anyone. Uh, as I said, today I want to show you FlightCheck and how it works in a uh, ESCO artwork switch environment. So let me get me behind my computer and show you the presentation. So here we are with the presentation. Uh, as I said, I'm going to show you the presentation that I gave at the seminars uh, about Marksware Preflight, basically FlightCheck Professional, in combination with ESCO artwork, uh, artwork switch. But before we go into the real deal of flight checking, um, let's go over some slides that will explain you the basics of the graphic arts industry as we see it. First of all, garbage in is garbage out. This is the basics for a good file. And there are still people out there that believe that if you have a 72 dpi image, RGB, and you drop that into a, an InDesign file or a Quark document, and you output that to a PDF or to your RIP station, that it will be a perfect result. Of course, this is not true. Uh, if you put garbage in there, never expect it to be a fully nice image in the end. Second one, quality is everyone's responsibility. It's a quote, quote from Deming, and basically says that everybody should check what they hand off to someone else. So you're responsible for the quality that you deliver to someone else. Uh, as an illustration of that, we created a quality triangle. And as you can see here, the quality triangle is an upside down triangle that gives you all the stages of the document throughout the graphic arts workflow. Um, down at the bottom, we see the designer. And if the designer would take his time and check his file and he would find a small error, uh, he would be able to solve that error and do that in less than 10 minutes and will only cost him a couple of bucks. Where if he didn't, and he would hand off his file containing an error to other parts of the workflow, then the higher you get, the more effort it will take to restore that small problem. In the end, on the press, it will, could cost you hours and thousands of euros to um, eliminate that very small error that could have been detected right at the beginning. This is why you need quality control in every stage of the workflow. Okay, we're getting into FlightShare Professional, a standalone application that uh, can check for over 50 file formats. So standalone means that you don't need a Quark or InDesign to check the InDesign file or the Quark file or one of the other formats that we support. And to really understand what FlightCheck does, let's go into the, uh, the program itself so I can show you uh, the, the highlights of it. So we're gonna switch to FlightCheck, I'm gonna hide the rest. This is basically what you see when you start up FlightCheck. It's a button bar with some nice buttons on there. We go over the most important ones now. First of all, the ground controls. The ground controls are the main, uh, are the heart of FlightCheck. This is where you create your rule sets. This is where you uh, make your settings on what you want to check for in your file. Um, it's very easy to, to make the settings, but first let's go over, uh, I will show you very quickly how many things you can check for. Flashing Professional is a rule-based application, so you can uh, put on or off any rule you like to check your file. To make a setting, it's fairly easy. You just click on a rule once, it will give you a warning. If this uh, rule is flagged, checking your document, then it will give you a warning. Um, this could be handy, uh, for instance, for PMS color usage. Um, for one job, PMS color should be used. For another one, only CMYK should be used. So FlightCheck will give you a warning if PMS colors are found. So this will give you those three extra seconds to grab your order sheet and make sure that it is okay. If I click on it again, it becomes an error, meaning that if FlightCheck will detect this in the file, it will give me a red cross stating that this file is not ready for production. This way you can make all your settings. And once you're done, you can save this setting under a name or you can have multiple settings. For instance, for one printer, for another printer, for one press to another press. And in the end, 
You can even import or export your files. This is great because now you can provide your customers with your settings or you can import your settings from the printer that you uh, are sending your files to. Once you have made those settings, you're basically done and you're ready to check your files. So let's grab a file. I got an InDesign file here and I can simply pick up the file and drop it on my flycheck icon. You don't need to grab your images to find your fonts or anything. Flycheck will do that for you. Just pick up the file and drop it on Flycheck. Now Flycheck will do an in-depth uh, check of the whole document. Not only seeing if the image that you used in your file can be found. Now it will find that image, it will get the image in, it will check the whole image. If there's a font used within that image, it will get the font, get the font in and check the whole font to see if it's ready for use. Once Flycheck is done with that, it will give you basically two screens. One are the Flycheck results. In this, we get a very nice overview of everything that is wrong with your file. In red, everything is stated that is an actual error. In blue, you will find all the warnings. So for instance, if we go to RGB image, then we get a whole list of RGB images that are found in the document. For instance, this is an Illustrator EPS, this is the name of the EPS, this is the document where it was found, and the page on which it was found. So this will give you a very quick overview of everything wrong with the file, and now within two minutes after you receive the file, you have a clear document that you can use to communi start communicating to your client. Either by phone, by fax, uh, by email, you can now make sure that the client understands what's wrong with his file, and you can make arrangements who is going to solve the problems. Of course, for a pre-press environment, you need more information than this. You want to know everything that is, within, uh, that is in the file. Means not only things that are wrong or on a warning, but also all the things that are okay. So you can make a judgment on how to send your file and how to uh, send it to your output device. So we have the other screen, which is a general overview screen.